Hey, what's up? It's A Boogie with the hoodie. You checking out Civil TV, man. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name was already A Boogie, but with the hoodie came part like just me always having a hoodie on and then <laughs> you already know in the Bronx everybody always wanna make nicknames. This with that, A Boogie, A Boogie with the hoodie came along perfect. And Boogie stands like for the Boogie Down Bronx. I used to record here all the time, but now I record in my house. I got a new studio in my house we just built. Me and my engineer Moise. We going crazy in there right now. We're already putting in that work, me, Don Q, Moise. I just came from living in the fucking jungle. Like, hybrids is really the jungle. I used to wake up wondering what I'm eating, like, type shit. Like, last year, I did. I used to wake up in the morning wondering, like, should I spend this bread? Because I'm going to have to buy this. But if I buy this, I can't eat. Feel me, type shit. Yeah. Now it's like, I don't got to worry about nothing. I'm great. I'm not going to say I'm great now because I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable on time all the way on top, but I'm real good right now. My shit came apart, I was in my house. I wasn't in my house, matter of fact, I was in my block though. I was on the block of my house, my old house in High Bridge. It came apart like 30 minutes. I was just singing my melodies. He threw in a beat and the beat was real catchy, that little bouncy beat. And we used to always talk about the bag, like in my bag. So <laughs> I, just started, I just started saying that in my songs. And yeah, when I'm in the studio, um, I like working. I'm not gonna say I, I always work alone, but I'd rather work alone, like certain situations. Like, like if I'm making a love song, I, I want to work alone. If I'm making a trap song, I have my guys around me, my gang. We come in the studio, everybody for me smoking, having fun, and I just make songs off the energy. Yeah. But when it comes to my love songs, that's where it take me a little time, like, <laughs> cause it's real, like you feel me. I don't want to just make up things too. So I, like, people be pressuring me. Like, I'm not gonna say people be pressuring me, but. Cause it's like, it's, it's on me, but <laughs> like me making these love songs is hard. Cause it's like, it's really coming out of my stories. It's like, it's not like, for me, I could just make anything up. I could, but I don't like doing it that way. Yeah, keeping it genuine. Yeah, right. I'd rather keep it genuine facts. Sometimes I could take 20 minutes on a song. Sometimes I can, I could take two weeks on a song. Sometimes I could take a year on a song. <laughs> For real, like that song, um, Temporary, I got a song called Temporary. That was one of my first songs. It took me a long time to work on that one right there. But now, I, I develop now. I'm just doing songs like here and, like, here and there. When I get the time, I do songs real quick. How did you find out about the I didn't, I'm not gonna say I knew it was gonna be on the tape, but it was obvious to me that it was gonna be on his tape. Yeah. Like the way, the way he did it, I knew it was gonna be on his tape. Like just, Summertime Shootout too. now, he shot it out in the beginning of the song. I was like, yeah, he, he gonna put that on the Summertime shoot. I was like, <laughs> I was just with Fab and ATL, matter of fact, for the weekend, or whatever that was, the past three days. He was in, he was in like three different clubs, while I'm not popping mad bottles and everything. So, in front of, you know, that's, that's huge. Word. How did that happen? That was still a dream. <laughs> That's still a dream right now, like, it's crazy. We were just talking, having regular conversations at first, like, you me about music and everything. I never really asked him to get on no songs or nothing at first. And then when we met up at uh, Madison Square Garden, the first day I didn't perform, he told me to come through. I didn't perform the first day. The last three nights I performed, like, three nights in a row. And then we was going to these private parties and it was just good vibes for me. We're a real cool guy. I dropped my tape, it was going like, at first, it moved a little slow, and then when I like started playing my shit, my record, my shit, in the, little, in the clubs around New York, Dykeman and everything, like, that song just started passing everything in the tape. So, it was like, damn, what do I do? Keep promoting the tape or just my shit? 
So I was just still trying to keep it even. After a while, my shit blew past the, to the whole tape, though. But um, I started getting recognition from it. I'll have to say about the fucking <laughs> first few weeks out of, when I dropped it. Yeah, I showed it to um, my man P&B Rock. We was in a club downtown. And then he was with Orlando. That was his A&R. Yeah. So Orlando was P&B Rock to Orlando. He was rocking with me. From there, and from there, Orlando was just like, nah, he was on it. <laughs> he was on it from there. So after a while, we got that deal done. The deal with Atlantic, it wasn't really planned. It just came because like, they gave us the right position. Like They put us in the right position, feel me? They let us be our own bosses and everything. So we rocked with it. I feel the most comfortable working with like who I work with, QP, Bubba, Don Q, and the whole high bridge that I got surrounded around, like, around me. It's just like they put me in my comfort zone where it made me feel like I could say whatever, I could do whatever, feel me? So it's just like I'm comfortable. In my music, I'm just comfortable. High Bridge, like, we grew up together, me, Bubba, and QP, and Don Q. We grew up together. We knew each other since, like, five years old type shit. Word. So, like, when I moved back to New York, Don Q been rapping, too, like, but he wasn't making, like, music. Like, he was just, he, like, bars is crazy, but he just wasn't making songs yet. So when I came back to New York, we made our first song. I, I, had, I had songs, but we made our first song together. It's called Bando. And that's from there, we, me and Don Q been making songs together, so everything is everything been going. And we just created the label together, Highbridge the label. When I moved from Highbridge, me, Bubba, and QP lived together, so we used to sit down on the couch and just plan out our little projects, so everything that we doing right now is just like, it, we read it out already, for real. Like this mix, the mixtape I made artists all the way to right now, everything is just written, and we still writing our own path right now. <laughs> um, they about to drop my new song on, on 105. It's one of, a big song that I'm about to drop soon. It didn't even drop yet. We just putting on the radio right now. Do you know High Bridge, baby? Bridge. High Bridge, baby. This fucking we call this one Thomas New York. I probably spent a hundred thousand on fly shit. Spent a hundred thousand on my body. Drug culture mixtape next week Friday. Two feet are very topless. And she's topless. Make it big driver. He was saying pronto. Right the round side. I cannot waste no time. Bitch, I'm really Thomas. I cannot waste no time. Bitch, I'm really Thomas. Yeah, my real name is Artist and I... And I'm good at I'm good at this shit. Like I'm really good at writing. Like I used to write every day, and it was different type of sounds to my songs. And it was like, damn, I'm really really good at this. That's when I was making Friend Zone Jungle. Like I made my shit Friend Zone Jungle in like like a matter of like three four days. Yeah, 100. I was making them back to back. So I'm like, nah, like like this is me right here. Like <laughs> yeah, the Jungle. I was just I was just grabbing hybrids really like. Cause that's all I know in the Bronx is Highbridge. Like I don't really leave. I never really left Highbridge. It was just Highbridge. <laughs> yeah. Like my man Ue just just passed away. Like I can't say that's the reason I'm rapping. Cause I've been doing. I was rapping while he was here. Like he was right here. I was rapping. So I could say that makes me just go harder. Well, I was saying that in Jungle too. Like the Jungle made me go harder for me. It's just all motivation for me. That jungle made me go harder. That jungle turned me to a monster. That jungle made me go harder. The jungle turned me to a monster. The jungle made me go harder. The jungle turned me to a monster. Nigga, this is what that jungle do. Nigga, this is what the jungle do. I feel like growing up is all about your surroundings of who you're gonna be like. You chilling with on the corner, everybody that's for me doing this, that's who you're gonna be. But if you if you decide to do something else in your life, it's okay with that too. But I feel like your surroundings is who you are. Like, but, and high bridge is my surrounding, but it's just that I so cold happen to make this come up for me and get up out of here. But this is my old building right here. This is my building. Fact. That's the now. Um, I went to high school um, by oh, Gun Hill, man, matter of fact. Hey, I went to Clinton. Bro, I was in Clinton when it was real, too. You know, he was fighting every day in that shit. We used to fight every day in that shit. That ass. 
<laughs> what up, nigga? Heard you. My fan base is real, real good right now. My SoundCloud has a million plays a day. Um, just, just on SoundCloud, it has a million plays a day. YouTube, I don't know about YouTube, but SoundCloud is just, <laughs> it's out of control. Oh, hey! What's up? What's good? What's up, buddy? Yeah, what up, y'all? Where you going? How you doing? No, an interview. Oh, okay. All righty. <laughs> Love you. Hey, right, Boogie, take care of him. That's a fact. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> nah, I be missing the block, though. Like, I don't miss being on the block, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, like, I miss that feeling. Like, everywhere you go on the block is love and shit. But then it's also hate for me. Let me get out of the equipment. Huh? What's good, Evo? How are you? My, yeah, doing this. Growing up in High Bridge, it was a lot about basketball as a kid. When I was in elementary school, the whole High Bridge, like, the whole High Bridge was about basketball. So, like, then when I got to, like, middle school and high school, that's when it started to fall off with basketball and it was all about the streets. You want to get an autograph? She definitely will. Nah, what's the you got the yeah, yeah. You I'm going to give you a big autograph, look. Mm. My next project is going to be called The Bigger Artist. Um, I'm dropping it around Halloween. I'm working on my, um, like the art cover right now, as, as a matter of fact. And then after that, I'm dropping a mixtape. It's going to be called Artoven. Yeah. And then after that, I'm doing some little back to back shit right now. I'm about to go crazy. After that, I'm dropping my album on, on on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I go with my vibe. Like sometimes I'm supposed to be making this song right here, like a certain song, and I don't feel like making that song because I got a different vibe. So I will make for me a whole new song. Yeah, it depends on how I really feel. I like making like I like making love songs though. I like making trap songs, love songs, all types. Of